Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther and today I'm going to show you how to blend text in a more easier and different way. But before we do that, I got a guest for you. Check it out. Today I want to share with you a domestic online course from Michael Johnson, one of the greatest and most talented graphic designers nowadays, who's also the author of the books Branding and Problem Solved. What I loved in this course is that he's showing you a lot of case studies, how he's taking the brand strategy and transforming the data into clever design. He's gonna teach you how to solve problems in a business with strategy and most importantly gonna see how he does it in practice with the biggest companies out there such as Mozilla, Duolingo, University of Cambridge and many more. He's gonna give you enough clarity that design is not just this cheap logo thingy, it actually can increase the company's revenues a lot if it's done in the right way. There's actually case studies of this stuff. In this course, you're gonna find simplified strategy, rebranding, verbal communications, a lot of case studies, and some really good book recommendations. If you wanna see more, click the link in the description and check it out. All right, first step, select your text and, or logo or wordmark or whatever it is that. So I'm gonna create a new copy of this, press and hold Alt, create a new copy, and I'm gonna first rearrange this how I wanna, you know, look the blend. So let's say I'm gonna do it like this. After this, we're gonna create the blend. I'm gonna put this away. Okay, I'm gonna take a copy of the P. I'm gonna create another copy. So it's gonna look something like this. Um, and the main idea is to work with the stroke because this is this is a stroke blend. So this is the fill. I'm gonna go to the stroke, select the black color, go back and select one of the P's and put some color on the fill, not on the stroke. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna select, let's say, I don't know, cyan. I'm gonna go to this, go to the fill, make sure the fill is on the top, not on the bottom, because otherwise you're gonna paint on the stroke. So I'm gonna select another color, and I'm gonna select both, go to object, go to blend, make. So it's gonna, as you can see, or it's gonna create a lot of copies, or it's gonna create very few copies. So from here, we're gonna double click here on the on the blend tool, select specified steps and decrease the copies. Um, I'm thinking to go with like 12, yeah, something like that, and click OK. And as you can see, we got the nice transi transition from pink to blue to cyan. And as you can see here, we got some tricks going on. Uh, we won't use the replace spine tool, you know, in the back in the days, like, uh, this is how I did it. But now I just only select from here, the direct selection tool. And I got a line already here. See that I'm going to click on this anchor point, click on the convert select an anchor point to smooth. You got to convert it to smooth. I got to do the same with this. And I already got a spine for the letter. And I just can, uh, you know, modify the anchor point. And as you can see, just gonna move it however I want. And if I want to, re uh, you know, recolor some of the text or move some of the text, I just go with the direct selection tool. I can click on the P and move it however I want. Click on the spine, modify the spine, or I can, you know, recolor it easily. See that? Or I can go back to the blend tool, double click and increase the numbers of the copies. So the main idea is not to go wild, only to go wild when it's placed over here. But the main idea is the first step to be, you know, you just uh, object, blend, make, you just blend it in something like this and place it here. Like how's the mockup? and just play around with the direct selection tool, you know, how you want to modify it. And after you uh, clicked with selected the P with the direct selection tool, you go to the selection tool and you also can rotate it, you know, and create some more interest, interesting stuff out of it. And then also, you know, play around with the spine. Okay, I'm going to time lapse this and, uh, you know, make the rest of the letter R so. Okay, another very important thing. If you can see the N is on the top and the A was also on the top. So we need to put this in the back. So I'm gonna select not only the N, the, but the, you know, the bottom and also the mock of the template M. So I'm gonna select both, right click, arrange and 
send to back. But as you can see, this way it's gonna send it to back and you can modify it however you want. And basically this is how you can bounce around. For example, the A is on the top of the N. If I pull this, the P is on the top of the A and N. And if you want to move it, for example, the A to B under the N, you can right click, arrange and, you know, send it back again or you can do it vice versa, you know, put it to the front. But yeah, mainly arrange, bring to front, bring forward, backwards. You know, these are basically the options, how you can move the layers, you know, which one to be on the top or bottom. And also there's like another trick, you can increase the size, press shift plus alt, and this way it's gonna occupy a little bit more space and it's gonna be a little bit more interesting too. And mainly this is how you achieve this trick it was super fun uh, this effect is uh, really interesting uh, I got inspired from somewhere I saw somewhere this and I said like let me try this out it's really dope and yeah this is it thank you so much for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos and have a good one bye bye